Okay, hey there, welcome back. So today's video, I'm just, this is gonna be really fast. Uh, I'm just gonna go over how to set up the tile map for uh, the room or the house. And next time we'll talk about actually transitioning between the scenes, but today we're just setting up the tile map. So uh, let's go ahead and dive right in. Hey there, so here's where we left off last time. Uh, we have our player, and we set up some extra rooms and made sure that we're not triggering these transitions more than once. Um, and today, we're going to actually trigger some transitions, not just between rooms in the same scene, but in between scenes themselves. So let's, uh, let's get started here. Uh, the very first thing I want to do is I want to go to my prefab folder. And I'm going to make prefabs out of two things. I'm going to make a prefab out of my player, and I'm also going to make a prefab out of my uh, canvas that I'm using for my UI. I'm just dragging the whole canvas in there. Uh, once you do that, you'll see them turn blue in your sample scene window, and that means that they're a prefab. And you don't have to ha put them in a prefabs folder. You can put them in a different folder. That's fine. So long as you're putting them from the scene view into an assets folder, you're turning that one object into a prefab. Now. The next thing I want to do is create a new scene. So I'm going to go to my scenes, right click, create. I'm going to create a scene and I'm going to call this house interior. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up this scene here. Uh, save my modifications. Now, there's a few things I'm going to do. I'm not going to put the camera follow script on here because I want my house to be just one screen. I don't want it to follow the, the player around. I'm going to change my orthographic size to 6. And, yeah. Now I'm going to create a 2D object, a tile map, which brings with it a grid. Now, this tile map, I'm going to rename it to, I'll call it base. I'm going to put it on the default layer, and I'll put its order in layer to be 1. I'm going to make another, or sorry, order in layer to be 0. Yeah. I'm going to make another uh, tile map. This one I'm going to call Collision. Collision. Might as well capitalize it to be consistent. And I'll make uh, another one. For this one's going to go in between these two, and this one's going to be for decorations. And then I'll make one more layer here, and I'll call this last one uh, collision decorations. Collision decorations. Then I'm going to set their order in layer. So uh, decorations is going to be one. Collision is going to be two. And then collision decorations is going to be three. Now the next thing I have to do is go to my art folder. Uh, in my GFX I have a sprite sheet called inner. Uh, currently it's set to be single, so I'm going to set this to be multiple. I'm going to go to the sprite editor and apply those import settings. And I'm going to slice by cell size, 16 by 16. And we'll just slice that. And then I'll apply these changes here and go back out. I want to make sure that this has no compression and that it's on point. Um, all right, cool. Now I'm going to make a new palette here. So create new palette. I'm going to call this interior. Uh, keep it rectangular, automatic, create. And I'm going to put this in my tile palettes folder. So choose and then drag in my inner as the sprite slash texture I want to use. And again, I'm going to put this in my tile map or tile palettes folder. Choose. And this is going to take a minute. So I will meet you back here in a second. All right, so welcome back. Um, so what I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm using my base tile map with my interior tile set. And I'm just going to grab, say this one, use the box, and I'm just going to make the box the exact same size as the camera, because the camera's not going to move. Next, I'm going to go to my decorations here, and 
I'm going to make a decoration out of this uh, rug here and make sure that I'm on my decorations tile map. Just because you select the tile map over here doesn't mean that that's the tile map you're using. So I'm going to just go, actually, let's do this piece by piece. So I'm going to lay down some parts of the rug like that here, here. I'm going to fast forward through a lot of this, so bear with me. All right, so now for my collisions here, uh, I'm going to go to my collision uh, tile map and make sure that that's selected here. I also want to make sure that my collision has a rigid body 2D that is set to be static. And then I need to add a tile map collider and a composite collider. And then for the uh, tile map collider, make sure that it's used by composite. All right, so now whatever I add onto this collision is going to automatically have a, um, a collider to it, so our, our player will interact with it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set up the, the walls and everything. Now I know that this probably isn't how these tiles are supposed to be used, but I'm going to use them this way. So I'm going to use these four corners here for the four corners of the room, so it creates that really weird forced perspective that you see in uh, A Link to the Past and other Zelda games. So I'll do that first, and I'll meet you back here in just a minute. Okay, so we've got that Zelda-like force perspective where our walls are here, and they already have their colliders on them, so our player's gonna collide with them. There's a few other things I wanna add to the uh, collision layer here. So for decoration, I'm gonna add a little bed, or I guess I'm adding the bigger of the two beds. I'm gonna put that, let's say over here, and then I'm gonna add uh, the table I put that just in the middle of the room, and then I'm going to give it a couple chairs here. So I'll give it this one right there, and we'll put this one over here. Now, let's see, what else do I want to do? I kind of want to put down this stove. Now, if I want to put down the stove, I want it to be like up near the top of the bedroom, but if I put it here, then I'm going to be overriding the wall, which is why I have this collision decorations here. I'm going to add the same thing to this that I did to the um, collision. So I've got a rigid body 2D that's set to static, and then I'm going to add a tile map collider uh, that is used by a composite, and then I'll add a composite collider. Okay, so this will still create um, uh, collisions, but it's going to be on top of the actual collision map here. So I can put this like up there, and so you can still see it has collisions, but it looks like it's, it's right because it's not overriding the wall. You can still see behind it. I'm going to do the same thing for a couple different little decorations here. So like, I'll put a painting there, and I'll put a window right there. And what other decorations do I want in here? I'll put one more little painting right there. So this looks kind of nice. Okay, cool. Now uh, I'm going to add my prefabs to this. So if I go to my prefabs, um, because I didn't make any rigid connections with my player, I can just drag my player in and hit play, and it'll automatically start working um, as soon as everything gets packed in the, the Sprite Atlas. So because I didn't make any rigid connections, the player works just fine. I'm not getting any weird um, uh, null reference exception errors and all of the collisions are working. We don't have a way to transition between scenes yet, but we'll add that in the next video here. Um, the other thing I can add, again, I can do this just drag and drop because I didn't make any rigid connections, is the uh, canvas. And if I just drag that into the scene, again hit play, it's automatically going to read the player health from the 
player health thing. And then there we go. We've got everything working like it should. Now, if you, for some reason, didn't want to have the UI in here, then you could just you know, turn that off or not even import it and then just have the UI be part of the overworld. But so there we go. Um, I set up the house. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do here is make the actual transition between one room to the other or between one scene to the other. So uh, if you have any questions, you can feel free to ask them in the description down below. You can follow me on Twitter to find out when I post a new video. You can join my Discord where I'm chatting almost every day. And yeah, otherwise, I hope everybody out there has themselves a wonderful day.